everybody, and welcome to This Week in Why Math. I'm here with Peter Kowalski. Uh, Peter, maybe you could tell us a little bit about what you do here. Hi, I'm the manager of operating for the Niagara River Control Center. We operate the control structure above the falls to release water over Niagara Falls. Wow, so you control the flow of the water, and does that vary like in the time of the year or for needs of electricity at all? It does vary. There is a treaty that exists between the U.S. and Canada for water flow over Niagara Falls. All the water over and above that treaty amount can be used for power production. So the treaty flow exists during the tourist hours, April the 1st to October 31st, from 8 in the morning till 10 at night. During that time period, there's 2,832 liters per second, <laughs> cubic, cubic liters per second, flowing over, in the, over the falls. So obviously math plays a pretty important role in that. Why is math important in your job? Well, it's very important because math is used to calculate flow into the Niagara River, it's used to calculate the flow over Niagara Falls, and we use it to calculate how we divide the remaining water flow between the two power companies in New York State and in Ontario. And so how do you, how do you calculate how the water goes over the falls? What's involved in that? We have a series of rating tables that are, that are devised from flow measurements. And through that process of knowing the elevation in the river and relating that to a rating table, we can determine the flow. Wow, very interesting. All right, so we're up top here now. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about how electricity uh, is controlled up here. Well, the Niagara Falls doesn't actually produce electricity. We divert the water upstream of the falls and it's channeled through the U.S. and Canadian plants through tunnels. The tunnels on the Canadian side run underneath the city of Niagara Falls. There's two tunnels that are in place right now and an open-cut canal. We're also constructing a third tunnel. Maybe, the, uh, maybe you've heard of Big Becky and the tunnel boring machine. That new tunnel is under construction and it should be in service in 2013. So water is taken from above the falls, underneath the city, to Queenston Lewiston where it is used in the power station to generate electricity. Wow, and how much of our power comes from Niagara Falls? There's about 2,000 megawatts that's generated at the, uh, that can be generated at the Sir Adam Beck plant. So that makes up, on a day like today, it probably makes up, could make up about 10% of the, 10 to 15% of the power in the province. Wow. So um, what specifically behind us here plays a role in the power? There's a couple of older generating stations located upstream and the International Control Dam, which you can make out just in the mist upstream, is where the diversion is adjusted for water flow out of the river and also where the gates are adjusted for flow over Niagara Falls. In terms of tourism and electricity and how that all cooperates together, do you want to maybe tell us a bit about that? Um, Ontario Power Generation works hand in hand with the Niagara Parks Commission because Niagara Falls is a very, very popular tourist destination. So we work with the Maid of the Mist Steamship Company um, who operates vessels below Niagara Falls. We work with the Parks Commission to ensure that the areas are safe and that um, public safety is addressed as well as the beauty of the facilities around the falls. Excellent, perfect. Well, there you go, guys. Have one more look, and I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much again, Peter, for being with us. You're welcome. Thank you. So a special thanks to Peter Kowalski and the Niagara Parks Commission for letting us come and film at the beautiful Niagara Falls. I'm Nicole Tate-Hill, and this is Why Math.